what is a threat model right so a threat model is something that encompasses several different parts of your application to the point where we are able to understand the application break it down into its core fundamentals to understand what the application is made of why it is working the way it is working and how it is doing those actions and once you are able to understand the system that the application is trying to model then you are able to verify enumerate and identify the kind of risks that you can even face in an application of that sort so your security risks can come in various forms and fashions and if you have ever done a pen testing or any sort of verification afterwards you will note that your security risks can come in the form of ssrf attacks maybe your application is vulnerable to xss maybe your infrastructure is not hardened etc etc but these are things that you are only finding out after the fact however if you were looking at your application your system from the perspective of somebody who is going to attack it before it is ever being built so you assume when you are building a threat model you assume that the application has already been built and then you model it from the perspective of a red team attacker you try to figure out where there could be vulnerabilities in the application that you are building so for example let us say this is an on prem application and that it is going to be deployed only within your company's vpc then you inherently lose a lot of risks associated with that application being open to the internet so you are more worried about the kind of access controls that your internal employees have but if that same application is now on the open internet you are now suddenly worrying about whether it's possible for bots to access this application are ip addresses openly visible again your entire perspective on this changes completely so a threat model allows you to objectively break down the application into all of its components figure out the kind of data that is important to you within this application and then you can come up with threat vectors or attack scenarios that would make your application vulnerable in these different formats and once you have all of those solidified and you have a control on that then you start listing out various ways in which you can come up with defenses against different var- varieties of attacks that you've just listed out and as always you understand that this is going to be a cyclical process where you figure out an attack vector you figure out how you can stop that attack from happening and then you go back and have another discussion to figure out whether you've enumerated all possible attack vectors and whether your countermeasures that you've come up with are good enough to meet those particular attacks so all in all a threat model is a document that allows you to model your system's risks and once those are modeled you try and build a relation between each attack you know attack scenarios attack vectors and then you try and find mitigations for each one of those that you've just listed out